So thank you everyone. Welcome to this webinar on Intro to Power BI. Uh, we have this kind of a webinar every month. We try to at least do one uh, Big Data Trunk. And my name is Raju, I'm your host for today. I'm part of the Big Data Trunk team. Uh, just quickly, a couple of slides about Big Data Trunk. We are a professional training services company for several years, uh, providing mostly for corporates on technology as well as soft skills, leadership, we have e-learning options, we have boot camps, upskilling, uh, and a lot of interesting uh, hands-on workshops and several things which we have as an offerings. So you can check out all those details on our website. Today's topic is Intro to Power BI, which sits inside the data visualization AI area. And there are several different trainings which we have in that space itself. So you can refer our website and there's a category called BI visualization where there competitive or products like Tableau, ClickView, and several other ones which are in that space of data analytics, data visualization are part of that journey. Uh, but today's topic is primarily focused on Intro to Power BI. Uh, today's uh, speaker is Tanya, who is our, one of our top instructors in the visualization space. She's going to walk us through the concepts, a few things, and then get to some amount of hands-on as well. So welcome everybody. Uh, to this webinar, and I'm going to hand over to Tanya um, and stop the share. So, Tanya, over to you. Hi, Aju. Thank you for handling me uh, today. And uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this uh, Power BI webinar and one of the most hot topic in the market uh, right now. So let's just get started with the session. I'll start off with my screen share. And I'm going to monitor the chat. So in case of any questions or something, we'll address at logical points. So feel free to put uh, any questions in the chat. Um, if you have anything, I'll let take over. Tanya, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Raju. And I again welcome all of you to this session of uh, Power BI webinar uh, produced by Big Data Chunk. And uh, let's just first discuss about the webinar agenda, like what you will get from this particular webinar. The very first thing, introduction to Power BI. What is Power BI? Why people are looking for Power BI? And another thing is how it is helping in the business. Why would your business need Power BI? It's an important question when you are learning and when people are running forward towards it, we will see that why it's important, you know, uh, in the business too. Next thing is task of a data analyst. Since you are learning Power BI because you want to be in a field of data professional, business analyst, data analyst, you know, these kind of people generally use or move forward. Like if you want to move your career towards these things, you move forward towards data analysis too. So here we will see what are your tasks. If you are moving forward towards analysis field, data analysis field, then what will be your task as a, uh, you know, analyst? Next, we will discuss about the components of Power BI. What different components are there? So in Power BI, generally, we are having three components. I'm going to talk about them one by one. Another thing is use Power BI, how you are using Power BI, the architecture, like how it is working in a flow. We'll discuss about that thing. And then we will see building blocks of Power BI. So this particular webinar is just to give an idea that how Power BI works and what is the architecture behind it. And in the end, I will discuss that from where you can, uh, you know, download and work on the Power BI tools too. So this is the webinar agenda. And let's just move forward towards the very first topic, what is Power BI? The very first thing, Power BI is a Microsoft tool which we use for analysis. Why we use it? We use for business analysis. Now the question arises, why there is a need of Power BI? You know, nowadays, we know a lot of data is being generated. Either is it Facebook, Excel, SAP, SQL, SQL databases, Salesforce, whatnot, GitHub. A lot of sources are there who are generating a data. But to put that data in a particular information, that is very important. So there are two different things. One is data. One is information. Data is something which is very raw. 
like like facebook from facebook you can get a lot of data from excel you can get a lot of data but to put that data in an information to get the insight from that data that is called the information so let's say i'm getting a data from these many sources and from those sources i am creating the information with the help of charts sorry about that with the help of charts with the help of the different uh, you know uh, numbers calculations the line chart the bar chart the scatter bar a lot of charts different visuals are available in power bi from which you can took it and create the proper information that is the one thing why people are moving forward towards power bi and as i said there is a difference between data and the information data is something which is very raw and information is something which you are creating an insight so creating an insight where power bi is pretty much beneficial that's just an introduction of power bi now i have a question why would your business need power bi the very first thing it's a easy to use tool so definitely in the market a lot of visualization tool are available either it's tableau ibm cognos what not a lot more visuals are a lot more visualization tools are available but why people are moving forward towards power bi because it's pretty much easy to use it's a very user friendly tool you know once you will start learning and in fact in this session also i'll give you a quick overview you will see it, okay it's 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 very easy and you would like to learn about the power bi too when you will see that okay it's it's pretty much easy and uh, easy to handle a lot more things are not there and the best thing is that uh, power bi has different phases if you are you want to work with the basics of it so you don't need to code it just a simple platform where you can drag and drop you can work on different features and no code is required at all but yes if you want to work on the advanced level you can work with r language you can work with python language so it's like from easy to the advanced thing you can move forward in power bi so that's the one thing it's easy to use another is cost effective definitely here are two kind of services provided by power bi Power BI desktop and service. So one application is completely free for you. It's a complete free platform where you can go download and work on it. That's very cost effective and definitely Power BI service. It's a cloud based uh, you know service. So that is the that does have subscription. But yeah, it's a pretty much cost effective tool. And the thing, it's real time analytics. Definitely in Power BI, you can create real time analysis of the data. So let's say your data is on uh, the database, and you know you want to you want to have a real time data. So if something is changing on your database, you want to see that changes in your report too. That can happen with the help of Power BI. So it's a real time analytics. simple collaboration so definitely power bi is coming with simple collaboration options you know users may collaborate easily with their coworkers for creating dashboards and creating visuals so it's pretty much you know simple collaboration is possible sharing is easy so if you want to share your report so what you have created you want to share to the people it's pretty much easy here and another thing is data analytics and visualization so definitely power bi offers a data driven environment and in your company in order to expand your business intelligence so that, yes it does provide a lot of features a lot of visuals you know your real time forecasting is also possible so uh cryptocurrency is one thing you know we we all look forward to so that is something you know you can forecast so you can create forecasting project too so what will happen in future power bi does have these things these different uh, you know visuals which you can do in like in seconds in minutes you can create forecasting in your report so that's the one uh, pretty much uh, useful thing in power bi another thing is rapid prototyping so what does that mean so it is very simple to build dashboard visuals reports using power bi as a dashboard will be created in less than 10 minutes as i said your reporting your visuals you can create in less than 10 minutes and you can show it to the people you can show it to the in your organization so it's a very rapid thing you can do it very quickly with the help of bi and another one is definitely data modeling so power bi is a very powerful tool and flexible tool with a lot of features one of them is data modeling so power bi is actually you know help you to create 
the uh, proper relationship between your data tables. So, uh, you know, when you, you must have heard about in SQL, we create relationship, all those things we do. So similar kind of thing, data modeling we do in Power BI also. If I want to relate by different tables together, so let's say I'm having employee table, I'm having the sales table. I want to know how much sales is done by a particular employee, but the information is there in different tables. So how you will relate them? With the help of data modeling, you will relate two tables together and you can get the insight. You know, we can create a particular uh, visual or report kind of a thing. So that is also possible with the help of Power BI. And the last one is good custom displays. Definitely, as I said, a lot of, uh, you know, different visuals are there in Power BI. And, uh, you know, there is a whole visual marketplace from where you can pick your visuals too, right? So this is very interesting tool where it actually provides, it. it's, it's a free tool, but where you can definitely get a lot more things. So a lot more visuals. So that is why people are moving forward and using Power BI in their businesses. So that's the one thing here. Another one, task of a data analyst. So let's say, let's assume that uh, if you're working as a data analyst and if you're working as a business analyst, what will be your role? Right. So if you're learning BI, you know, you are learning a data visualization tools. One of them is Microsoft Power BI. Your work, your first work will be prepare. Prepare means get the data. Of course, if you want to get the insights from the data, you want to you want to have a data first. Right. So you can prepare. Prepare means get the data from different data sources available. So either it's Excel, your uh, uh, databases, SQL, no SQL databases, and your uh, Azure, Cosmos, whatnot. A lot of sources are available in Power BI desktop, and you can get those sources, you know, in Power BI. That's the first step, get the data. Second thing, modeling, modeling and transformation. So what happens? So let's say you are getting a data from Excel, right? But that data contains some glitches. So it could be some, uh, you know, some column name is not appropriate. Some uh, data type issue is there. So different, different issues are there in your Excel file. So second thing, what you will do, what your task will be to clean and shape your data. So prepare, like get the data, clean and shape your data, transform. If, if required, definitely, if your data is clean, you don't need any transformation. But yes, if your data is not clean, some glitches are there, transform your data. So yes, Power BI does give you this edge that with the help of Power Query Editor, you can edit your data too. You can transform your data too. After preparation, so in the preparation, you have, you have got two steps. One, get data. Second, transform if needed. Next thing is modeling. If you're done with both of these things, go for modeling. See what happens, you know, you are getting data from a lot of data sources. So yes, it is possible. What, at one time you're getting data from Excel, at another time you're getting data from, let's say SQL Server or from other services. So you want to relate your data together, right? In that case, you create modeling. As I just said, model, you create relationship between your tables for getting the insight. Another thing, visualization. When you are done with preparation, you are done with modeling to visualize. So there are a lot of approximately 35 visuals are available. And in spite of those 35 visuals, you have visual marketplace. There are a lot more visuals are available and you can pick those visuals. So next thing is visualization. And when you create your reports, you create your different visuals, pie chart, your stack bar chart, different charts you create. And then we have analyze. Definitely why you are creating reports for the analysis, right? So once you are done with visualization, you share your reports to the people in your organization. Let's say your manager, your teammates that, okay, I have created this thing and you can now visualize and you can take decision from this report. So data analyst job is very, very important because, uh, you know, you are the one uh, who are actually, uh, you can say, working on the visualizations part, right? So as I said, it's pretty much important, you know, to work on your task thing here. And another thing is manage. See, once you are done with preparation, you are done with modeling, and you're done with visualizations too, and analysis is also done. So you go for maintenance of your thing, right? So for the people in your organization, you will provide security, you know, you will provide a different kind of management thing would be there. So 
This is the task of a data analyst. So if you're working as a data analyst in your organization, this will be your task. And in fact, once you will learn this course, so Power BI course, in this course also, we will talk about all these aspects, how you can get data, how you can go for modeling, transformation, how you can go for visualizations. So all these things are there in particular phases in Power BI. So that's the one thing. And uh, another one, let's just talk about furthermore things here. Next thing, components of Power BI. It's pretty much important because, uh, as I said, Power BI is a collection of software services and applications. So what is first thing? Software. Software is Power BI desktop, right? So it's a one thing. It's a complete free application. I will share, I will show you the thing also. I will share the link also. You can explore this uh, so I'll, I'll complete my uh, my thing here. So Power BI desktop is something that you can download on your system and you can start creating your reports. The, the, as I said, preparation uh, and your visualization, your transformation, everything took place in Power BI desktop, right? That's the place. Another thing is service. As I said, three things are there majorly Power BI desktop, right? It's a software which you can install on your system. Power BI service, it's a cloud-based service. Now, why we are using Power BI service? We are using Power BI service for sharing the reports, right? Let's say uh, you are doing a lot of hard work, right? You're getting data, you are transforming it, you are creating visuals. You want to share those things also, right? You are creating the thing you want to share to the people in your organization. So how you would do it? You can't do with the help of Power BI desktop. So for sharing, you have to use Power BI service. So that's a cloud-based service and Power BI service does have the subscriptions too. That's the one thing. And another one is Power BI mobile app. Yes, you can download Power BI on your mobile applications too. It does support your iOS. It does support your window, uh, sorry, your Android. So you can install the application on your mobile phone too, but it depends what is your job role in the organization. So let's say in your organization, if you are a Power BI developer, of course you will need Power BI desktop because you are developing a report. Right. And if you are the manager, so let's say you are just managing the thing, you're not a developer in your organization. So in that case, you don't you won't use Power BI desktop. You will directly use Power BI service. You will open your portal and see, okay, what's going on, how you are creating reports, how the dashboards are going on. So if you're a manager, you don't need to develop anything. So you just you see that what's going on. In that case, directly you can use Power BI service. And let's say in the organization you are just a part of a team and maybe uh, let's say you are the HR or you're from different department you want to see how the sales thing is going in the organization simple you want you just only want to see what's going on in the organization the sales uh, how, how the thing is I think the growth of the organization how the things are going on in that case simple use your mobile application Right. So different people use these different services in different ways. So developer, definitely you need to work on both of these things, Power BI desktop, Power BI service. And yes, since you are learning Power BI, uh, if you will be learning Power BI, in that case, you will learn the complete tool, Power BI desktop also and Power BI service also. So that's pretty much interesting thing here. And uh, Let's just move forward towards furthermore thing. It says use Power BI, how you are using Power BI. The very first thing, as I said, you will get the data. So a lot of different, different sources, cloud, the databases, the flat files. Flat files means, you know, your CSV, Excel, these are the flat files. Flat files generally, uh, you know, have a structured data. So you can get the data in Power BI desktop. That's the first phase. So what's the flow? I'm discussing the flow of Power BI. We have just seen the three components are there, desktop, service, and mobile application. So first thing, the first thing is get data in Power BI desktop. That's the first thing. You will get the data here. And after that, you know, in Power BI desktop, you create the whole thing. So it's a creation uh, tool where you will get the data, you will transform your data and you will create modeling. And here you can create visualizations. All these things you will do here. Once you are done with your reporting part, you will share your reports to, with the help of Power BI service to be your manager to the people in your organization, right? So first flow, how does flow work? Get data in Power BI desktop, create your thing, create your report, then share it to Power BI service. 
and then from Power BI service, people can see, right? And then in Power BI service, you know, you maintain, you, you go for security, you know, you maintain your data. So when I say security, let's just discuss a brief of that also. Security means, let's say, uh, you know, in your organization, uh, you are a part of HR team, but another people are a part of finance team. Now, what do you want? You want HR people can see only HR data and finance team can only see finance data. So it's a very important thing. In Power BI, you can apply security in Power BI service. That is row level security. So here uh, you can secure your data too. So uh, definitely once you learn Power BI course, you just start up with the thing everything will be covered. So how things are working, you know, how you are getting data, everything will be discussed uh, in, in a detail that, okay, security part will be covered and visualization management. So that's also a last thing in Power BI. But yeah, that is also a very important thing and very interesting thing that you can secure your data and you can hide from the people you don't want to show your particular reports. So that's the one thing, that's the common flow of uh, Microsoft Power BI here. And another one, let's just discuss about the building blocks of Power BI. The very first thing is dashboard. So dashboard is something, you know, uh, where you create your visuals. So, but there's a difference. There, there are two things, dashboard and reports, right? Dashboard is a part of Power BI service. And it's a single page canvas. It means on a single page, you can adjust your visuals. Right. So it is only you can only create dashboards in Power BI service. That's the one thing. First point. Second, it's a single page. And on a single page, you add multiple visuals here. Third thing, dashboards you can create from multiple reports. Let's say report one is there, report two is there, report three is there. Drag the visuals from there. Right. Let's say you want one visual from report one, uh, another visual from report two, drag those visuals in a, in a dashboard. Let's say this visual is coming from another report. This one is coming from another report. Why we do this thing? So whenever there is a requirement, uh, you know, of your uh, team. So let's say your uh, manager or your CEO or uh, any, any person in your organization who has this requirement that I want to see the information from this report also, this one also, this one also. So in that case, you can combine your multiple visuals together in a form of dashboard. So that's the one thing, let's say your manager wants to see what's going on in finance team, what's going on in HR team, sorry, your decision making team, the sales by different employees, by different department, let's say the sports department sales, the, uh, the clothing department sales, they want to see that particular sales in a one frame. In that case, create a dashboard. So uh, another thing, so difference between reports and dashboard, one, that uh, report uh, is something which you create in Power BI desktop, which I will discuss in a while. But dashboard is something you create only in Power BI service, one page canvas, and you can create visuals, you can drag visuals from multiple reports. Another thing, tile, what is tile? You know, these different visuals, like this visual, this visual, these visuals are in a rectangular box, if you can see, right? So this is a tile. It's one of the one of the building block of Power BI. It's a tile here, right? So you can only see this thing in the dashboard only. So once dashboard is a part of Power BI service, the so tile is also a part of Power BI service because these boxes, these particular visuals are called as to be your tile here. Another one is data set. What is data set? So definitely it's pretty much, you know, uh, simple when you talk about data set, it could be your uh, flat files, your databases. So what data you are taking to for the visualization part, right? That's your data set. So it is also a building block. Definitely it should be a building block because, uh, you know, when you are uh, uh, creating a visuals, you require data. So data set is one of the aspect here. That's the data set uh, of building block. Another one, report. As I said, report is something which you create in Power BI desktop. Please don't get confused. As I said, two things are there, desktop and service. In Power BI desktop, you create your reports. That's, a, that's very important. Second thing, dashboard. It's a different thing. It's a cloud-based service, Power BI service, where you create dashboard. So, uh, and report can have multiple pages here. And... Uh, once you know in dashboard you can have multiple pages but in reports you can have multiple pages so these are the building blocks of power bi you know the dashboard the tile the data set the report so when you are working with power bi you know 
uh, these different things are very important because majorly we work around these things only. Like either, either reports we are working on, either dashboards we are working on, or data sets. So majorly we work on these things. So that's the one thing, building blocks of Power BI. And let's just have a quick tour of all these things which I have just discussed in a brief. So let me quickly have this uh, discussion with you. The very first thing, as I said, Power BI desktop is a free application. So I'm sorry, I'm going to share this link uh, with everyone so you can have a look on uh, how you can download your, uh, you know, your version of Power BI desktop. So you can download this on your system and start creating the, you know, visuals. So that you can do with Power BI desktop. As I said, Power BI service is something which requires subscription. So here, uh, you know, you need to uh, buy uh, the Power BI service thing here, but I will show you one thing. By that way, uh, for some of the time, you can use Power BI service also, you can log in. And for some time, you can uh, use it for free too. So Power BI service is something which requires subscription, but in the starting way, uh, it does have some uh, free offerings too. So I will share these links to everyone in the Zoom chat. But before this, let me have a quick overview for the thing. So the very first thing from there, you can download Power BI Desktop. So that's the one thing. This is the link from where you can download Power BI tools, as it says. Uh, share this first. Okay, it's already been shared on the Zoom chat. You can have a look on. So when you drag, uh, you know, drop down, you can see Microsoft Power BI Desktop. And here it says download. Click on that. And see, it will ask you to open this in, you know, Microsoft Store. And then you can just start, uh, you know, your download. So in my case, it's the Windows one. But in your case, uh, if any of the version you are having, it will automatically pick that version. And you can download Power BI Desktop on your system. So since I already have it, it will show you this thing to me. And that's the Power BI Desktop where you can download. Second thing, if you want, you can download Microsoft Power BI mobile services if you want to. So different Power BI tools are there but majorly uh, we need to work on Power BI Desktop. That's the major, uh, you know, tool there. Another thing, Power BI service. How I can access Power BI service? That's the link for Power BI service. Okay, so here's a link for Power BI service where you can go and uh, either you can just, if you already have sign-in, so you know what happens sometimes in your organization, uh, it, they, they provide you the sign-in for this also. So you can try, you can sign in with the, with your organization or you can try it for the first time. So you can uh, you can go for the try for free, but before this regarding the pricing, so you can have a look on what different products and overview of what different things are there in Power BI service so pro version is there for power bi service premium version is there these are the two versions the subscription i'm talking about desktop is completely free which you can download but service is not so here pro version is there premium version is there you can see the pricing of these so let's say power bi pro and here you can see what different pricing, what different things are there, what different offerings are there for, uh, you know, Power BI uh, Pro version and, you know, for different version pricing. All these things you can see with the help of this link. And if you want to sign in for free, so simply you can click for try for free. And... Uh, and then see here it says, either if you have your login, you can directly log in from here. But if not, Go for register now. It will open the Fabric community. It's the same Power BI service one, but for the starting one, you can just try for free part though. And see here, you can just simply click on register. And then you can just register yourself from here. So uh, the complete information, you know, you can give it here. So uh, 
I won't show you how the things work, but you can try this thing at your own. Uh, you can try, you can just give your details here and then go for login. And then you can see that you have registered and you, you will get one login ID. And you can use any of your, you can use any of your Yahoo, your Gmail, your official ID, any ID you can use to create the login for Power BI service. And uh, for the starting time, it will save for the free, but yeah, that's the one thing. It does have subscription. That's the link Power BI service. You can explore this link for the desktop. Also, you can explore this one too. Now, let's just have a, a quick overview for Power BI desktop also. Okay, let me uh, just show you a quick overview that how Power BI Desktop look like. So that's the Power BI Desktop. As I said, it's the free application you can install. And this kind of icon you can see either in your on your desktop, you can create shortcut. So this is a Power BI Desktop, right? Now, as I said, everything is there, you know, on click and go, drag and drop, because majorly on clicks, so you can, on, on one click, you can work on the things. You don't need coding part here for Power BI Desktop. So let's just go one by one. You know, first I have discussed in Power BI Desktop, you go for get data, right? So different data sources, you know, I said that Excel, the, we, uh, the SQL servers, Dataverse, so when you click on this, it says connect to data from multiple sources. That's the first thing you do for Power BI Desktop. Click on that, get data, and see a lot more sources, the text, the web sources, and if you click on more, it happens, you know, in your organization, you use different databases, different sources. So you can have a look on this, that what different sources are, you know, are there JSON file, XML in the files, different files are available, SharePoint, PDF, folder, whatnot, databases, a lot of databases are available. And online services, your Microsoft Azure services, your DevOps, LinkedIn, whatnot, a lot more sources are available. And if you want to search for your source, click on all. And then you can search for your sources too. And then you can click on connect, right? So as I said, different sources are available. Get your data. That's the first thing. Get data in Power BI Desktop. After getting the data, you know, I have discussed about transformation, right? You can transform your data, right? So here on this home ribbon tab only, you can see transform data. See what it says. Use Power Query Editor to connect prepare and transform your data. So here, when you click on transform data, it will take you towards Power Query Editor where we edit the data, right? Any kind of merging, any kind of, you know, uh, remove something, add something, all these kind of things you perform here with the help of Query Editor, a transformation tool is there in Power BI. Another one. Okay. After transformation, you know, I have discussed about the modeling. I've discussed about the modeling, you know, first get data, then transform your data, and then modeling. So see, in Power BI, three tabs are available. One is report. That's the report view where you create your reports. On the central page, you create your reports. Another one is table view, or you can say data view. When you click on this, you can see your data here in a tabular format, means in a row and column format. And when you click on this, that's the model view. You know, I've discussed about the relationship between different tables, you create those things. That's the modeling. Here you create relationship between your table. That's the model view here. So these three tabs are available in, uh, you know, Power BI, and that's the central canvas. I'll just do this one. That's the central canvas here. You create your reports and see. As I said, in pages, you can create in reports, sorry, you can create multiple pages. So here, page one, page two, page three. So as many pages you can create in Power BI desktop report. But in dashboard, as I said, in Power BI service, only single page we can create, right? 
we can't create multiple reports here. So report data view, modeling view, you get your data, you start preparing your data and you know see your data in tabular format and then go for modeling. And then let's just see one more thing that is the visuals, you know, we have just talked about. So after preparation, so I, I'm just showing you a whole overview of the, of the Power BI desktop. So definitely, you know, once you learn Power BI desktop, Imagine, you know, when you are learning this tool, how interesting it would be for you because uh, uh, different things, you know, you will see like, like how the things are working. And, and as I said, it's pretty much easy and interesting though. So that's the overview I'm giving here. So after all these things, after modeling, we go for visuals. We choose visuals. So here in the visualization section on your extreme right, you can see visualization sections where different visuals are available, either your pie chart, donut chart, your map, and whatnot. A lot of charts are available. As I said, if you are the developer, you, you can work with the R and Python codes too. That is also possible with the Power BI. So if you're writing any script in Python, you're writing any script in R. So that kind of script visualization, that visual you can see in Power BI too. That is, that's how the Power BI is a very powerful tool here. Now, so as, as I said, approximately 35 visuals are there. But if you want to get more visuals, let's say uh, instead of these visuals, you want more visuals. So click on these. Uh, you know, it says get more visuals and click on this one. And yeah, so first it will ask you for the sign in. So here you can click on sign in and then, uh, okay, currently I won't sign in here, but yeah, here it will ask you for the sign in and then it will take you towards the visual marketplace. So visual marketplace is something where a lot more visuals are available instead of these visuals. So that's the one thing, uh, you know, visualization sections, transformation sections. So all these things are available with the Power BI desktop. And uh, that's the one thing, that's the quick overview I have given for Power BI desktop. And definitely I have shared the links also with you. You can have a look on the application part too. You can have a look on the uh, subscriptions too. So I've already shared this link to you. And uh, yeah, that's just a quick, uh, you know, overall uh, quick overview for the Power BI one. And I would say congratulations on completing this quick webinar. And uh, I am open for any questions if you're having. So any anything which is going on in your mind uh, regarding the uh, course here maybe or regarding anything, I am definitely up for the questions here. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you for the brief uh, overview of uh, Power BI and how to get started. I, team, I think before we open for q and I just wanted to, I don't see any questions. If you have that put in chat, uh, we've shared a few different resources for you to take uh, for this webinar and others. So I'm going to just briefly take over the screen share and just walk through those few links which I have sent. So. Uh, you can definitely look into more webinars. So we keep doing this every month. So we did, we have this our meetup page where different, whether it's related to Google Cloud or Amazon or Microsoft uh, Azure or training or technical interviews preparation. Right? So depending on what your interest is, you can join one or multiple webinars, uh, meetup groups. You can also find our previous recordings from previous webinars. We have been doing it very regularly uh, and that all of those recordings are available which actually go to our YouTube page uh, and each of those are available. And this one will be posted there as well. Uh, we also have several public trainings. In fact, Power BI is going to be one of the trainings which will come up soon. So if as an individual, if you want to join any of the programs, you can join through this page and the link, the public training, which are live instructor-led trainings. And we have a lot of uh, on-demand trainings as well. And if you go to those page, you'll find several interesting free ones as well. So you can definitely uh, take advantage of chat gpt and several things very high end uh high quality programs i think they are free and to utilize that so just wanted to share those uh to you all um and just wanted to bring uh, those resources before we open up for q a so if you have any questions or anything you can always reach out to us at training at big data trunk check out our website uh so with that let me check if there is questions um, pause the recording though. Thank you everybody for joining this webinar and uh, we'll have more discussion.